Hello, everyone. This is Jeremy Fry. I am the senior pastor at Advent Lutheran Church in Melbourne, Florida. This is my daily devotional podcast. It is Monday, March 13th, 2023. Hope everybody's having a wonderful middle of their March. We are in the season of Lent, which is the 40 days before Easter, 46 counting Sundays, but we don't count Sundays because each Sunday is its own mini Easter. The journey of Lent is a time for springtime of our soul, a chance to truly focus on a relationship with God and Jesus, what's missing, what needs to be added, and how we can pick up our cross and follow Jesus uh, through his suffering and sacrifice that he has given us. We, too, uh, see how we can sacrifice for God and our faith. We are looking at the Psalms for this uh, time of Lent. Uh, The Psalms are attributed to King David, the greatest king the Israelites ever had. Uh, And there are many different types of Psalms, uh, Thanksgiving, uh, praise, uh, forgiveness, lament. uh, And it's just a great way for us to travel this journey together. Today is Psalm 51. Psalm 51, again, this is just a version of the psalm. I encourage you to go and read the entire psalm if you can. Psalm 51, this is the new revised standard version of the Bible, uh, starting with verse 5 and 6. It says, You desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hypsop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Many of us are familiar with this Psalm 51. It's an adaptation that is used as a prayer of confession and and one of our many liturgies in uh, the ELCA. In Psalm 51.6, David says that God desires truth in the inward being. And God prays, and and David prays that God would give him wisdom in his secret heart. Among the truths God desires for us is to know who God is and who we are. We may learn truth from external resources, but God also desires that we learn and assimilate truth deep within ourselves. God desires that the truth that we know and understand with our minds will also be in our hearts. David refers to the heart as an inward being a secret heart, a place where God is truly known. Now, in our digital information society that we have right now provides us with access to unlimited knowledge instantly. However, accumulation of knowledge does not equal wisdom, which is the ability to apply knowledge to life's circumstances. When we find ourselves in crisis or need of direction, to make major decisions, we may need, and we do need, wisdom. The heart of the matter is God desires to teach us truth and wisdom in our inner person. This requires that we take time to be mindful of what is going on in our hearts. The result may that we will discover wisdom and joy in our hearts from being being rewarded by God. Let us pray. O God of our salvation, you desire truth in our inward being. Cleanse and renew our hearts and teach us wisdom in our secret heart. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. All right, thanks for joining me today. We will see you tomorrow as we look at another psalm. Take care. God bless. Stay safe.